um, uh, Mr. Pushkarov has joined us, and I think we can start our last plenary discussion session. Thank you so much uh, to those who are staying the all day long and uh, who have joined only this plenary session. <coughs> So we have, uh, uh, my name is Alexey Muratov, uh, and I'm a partner uh, that is a consulting um, company, uh, the part of the Moscow Institute, and now we'll speak about Vladivostok. Uh, previously, uh, we were speaking mostly <laughs> about the regional uh, things and uh, the problems of uh, the city uh, development infrastructure. And now we <coughs> ask you to focus on the development uh, of Vladivostok topic. And our um, topic is called uh, Life After Mega Project Strategy of uh, Vladivostok and Primorsky Krai Development after the summit of APEC. And the problematic th uh, thing is clear. And uh, as for the event, uh, of uh, Vladivostok development and uh, agglomeration topic has joined. And this uh, topic was actively touched during our morning plenary session. And there's uh, by Sir uh, Mikloshevsky, and uh, it's needed to say if we look uh, over all the topics, uh, we have uh, constant. Uh, um, Zebra, um, we have to discuss the concentrated uh, simultaneous uh, activity, which gives the impulse to the development of the territory, but also we keep in mind, well, a bigger frame of agglomeration. And we have discussed the development of the region during our morning. Uh, and then we discussed the territories of uh, advanced development and then acupuncture of uh, um, sequenced activities, and in spite of these uh, declines, well, they speak about one thing, uh, <coughs> how uh, uh, to use uh, simultaneously, uh, to use short resources in one space simultaneously. Uh, the shortage of uh, economic resources and uh, uh, admittedly, that is a question for forever strategy and the information of the image of future and uh, uh, how these um, comparatively rare resources can be used. Uh, and uh, I would like uh, heartedly uh, to invite uh, the head of your city, Igor Pushkarev, to listen uh, what kind of vision uh, uh, exists uh, for uh, the Vladivostok development? Добрый день. Я, во-первых, рад всех приветствовать. Хочу поблагодарить за выбор после городов миллионников проведения в городе Владивостоке такого форума. Для нас это очень важно, очень актуально. As we are at the stage of, uh, we are developing the general plan of the city. That's something that we are looking at uh, instantaneously. Uh, but since uh, it was last revised in 1998, uh, a lot has changed in light of Ostok. And as the governor was saying earlier, not only we have new uh, locations and new venues and new construction sites, we also have new uh, transportation infrastructure and the attitude of people has changed uh, regarding the city as well. And I would do my best to uh, highlight our position as a position of the city hall, of municipal government, and to identify those issues uh, which would be uh, which would be usable uh, which would be relevant for discussion and we would uh, uh, what we're trying to do during this forum today we have tried to disperse ourselves into the many uh, session breakout sessions uh, 
So my topic is uh, life in the city after a mega project summit, APAC 2012. Uh, this is uh, making us thinking of uh, the efficacy, efficiency of mega projects. It's true that in the conditions of globalization, that's larger than become one of the major uh, factors of improved uh, competitiveness of this uh, of the region, but also it is a typical way of uh, formation of so-called global cities. It's a great way of uh, updating the city infrastructure, enhancing the uh, city uh, uh, image, uh, as well as uh, in opinion of many analysis uh, preparation and uh, holding of such events is due to high risks, that is uh, due to um, high demand for investments and keeping the infrastructure after the event has finished. The direct economic benefit is not considerable and establishing of non-economic benefit is, difficult, uh, is a difficult uh, issue. As a matter of fact, the statement that large cities require larger events to improve their uh, infrastructure is uh, due to insufficient processes of uh, globalization and urbanization. Uh, the major function uh, of the, as the major function of the city remains to be home for the citizens. In the manifesto of your conference, uh, was correct when you're stating that mega project is probably not the only best. Uh, solution to improvement of the city infrastructure because it should be associated with a number of projects uh, associated with development of infrastructure. We agree that uh, as we are uh, the forum for uh, mega events, uh, the city should still remain the uh, home for citizens. But what do we mean by city comfort? Is it synonymous to spatial harmonization and relation uh, between uh, between the city's dwellers, or is it only about marketing that is uh, hiding behind a fashionable, uh, fashionable uh, trend? How do we combine micro and macro? Finding new uh, uh, events uh, and requests for federal funding, uh, the authors of Manifesto are uh, telling that one of the options would be develop tourism and, but can't uh, tourism become the motor for engine for such uh, development? Can't it attract so many people? Should we, in this uh, context, refuse uh, mega events as alternative to mega uh, events? Uh, the manifesto implies the solution of transportation issue, creation of public spaces, modernization of uh, utilities. Uh, but uh, can't we say that all of those stated uh, items don't belong to the mega project? Uh, this is something that uh, Moscow banks and developers specialize on. Can't we say that revitalization of the industry and uh, military complex and organization of public space as a place uh, where we could hold uh, future mega events like Zaruski Island? Uh, can't we say that, at the same time, attributions of so-called interactive city with allocating allocation installation of online communication and positive changes of space that happens not only in this uh, municipal and uh, federal levels, but also would imply public initiatives. A great evidence uh, for connection between uh, mega events and organization of public space is uh, I, it's a form of new public space uh, that is the Golden Horn uh, Bridge. When it's, it was opened, every thousand people's, uh, people uh, gotten together uh, on this bridge. So after that, uh, after the bridge was installed, not even a single city celebration goes uh, without uh, this uh, public gathering on the bridge. At the same time, we could talk about revitalization of... Uh, uh, former uh, dock, uh, former uh, shipyard, which is now in place of uh, city uh, promenade area, or the Ajax uh, uh, Bay Beach on Zaruski Island. 
and I'm not even talking about uh, the squares that were uh, renovated uh, just recently. These facts were reflected in a special photo album that I have uh, put here, and uh, it would show you how Vladivostok, uh, in the way of its mega, mega events, uh, is uh, using. So um, this uh, implies uh, cohabitation of these larger events together with the life of ordinary people. Vladivostok is, in this case, is a special uh, issue because as we're uh, organizing the summit uh, without any problems, it just happens that this place with Vladivostok as a venue was uh, a very organic event in terms of its uh, culture and geography and history. Uh, the hosting of a summit allowed us to complete uh, the modernization of infrastructure. And the city is celebrating its 155th anniversary. So we don't have to make up some uh, event infrastructure because we already have it. We don't want to be overly ironic uh, by saying that uh, we, we don't, want, don't want to say that this is the uh, red herring or white elephant. We have gone through uh, the process of transformation of the city. Um, and uh, when people are meeting at the uh, bridge, they are expressing their positive emotions as being the city uh, members of the city community membership. So this is becoming fashionable transnational motion for us. Uh, and it's obvious that Vladivostok is that while being positioned as one of the places for uh, summit and mega events is no different from other Russian citizens, Russian cities and cities abroad. This is due to the strategy that uh, cities are using uh, to resolve many of their problems. But specificity of Vladivostok is that we're talking about the uh, place uh, that uh, federal authorities are investing money into, which would allow Russia to uh, actively participate in interaction and integration with Asia-Pacific countries. So this is very important for uh, modernization of the country, and it's moving to a new uh, technological and socioeconomic uh, ways of development. It's important to tell that uh, mega events like that uh, solves the problems of national security and solution of many problems uh, uh, of transportation. The city is still the fortress, is still the port, is the transportation hub, and it's an open window for uh, many things that can show the uh, what is inside. Vladivostok is trying to make sure it can positively uh, use the soft power and. Uh, it hosts a new pipeline and other sorts of infrastructure uh, that is, uh, boosts the whole potential of the uh, whole country in the Asia Pacific. In this uh, circumstance, we're developing a number of projects that are, uh, would boost uh, the uh, sphere industries of, uh, of processing, of recycling, of um, uh, resource processing, refineries. We must tell that on the Russian forest, it requires uh, more reflection of thinking. Industrialization here has not reached adequate levels. That's why we care not only of being attractive locations for um, uh, tourists, but also being a place for transfer of knowledge, which would upkeep uh, the process of modernization. It's important to tell that Vladivostok hosted the summit on a specifically built summit of uh, uh, the university, and the president has given the keys to the university to the students, thinking that uh, university would become the magnet, which not only would attract uh, the experts from foreign countries, but also uh, uh, experts from foreign countries. For future, we're going to develop uh, a territory of advanced development here, and it's obvious that our Far Eastern um, uh, city would become a a venue for such developments being supported uh, by spatial and timely development. Uh, Vladivostok, as a former military outpost, was becoming uh, was preparing for an attack from the sea. We have developed major fortifications in the 19th century, and solution of the borderline uh, uh, security issues. Uh, we have improved the city by making it a high-tech city, and Vladivostok is 
uh, constant. Uh, but the cities around Vladivostok are still the hostages of their previously existing uh, history. Nonetheless, we need to expand on the potentials of the city uh, to create new traditions and use the traditions that uh, uh, were created, were formed as Russia was communicating with Asia Pacific countries. So, because this is a time of trans uh, border um, communications, for this, Vladivostok would need to become opened and uh, uh, as it is a peninsula, it should uh, jump out of the, its uh, status and and uh, should expand on the southern part of uh, the uh, uh, province. We're talking about the third transportation corridor that Vladivostok uh, City Hall uh, is uh, developing. We were reporting it uh, to uh, the authorities on the level of the region. The third uh, transportation corridor would connect the city on uh, Morviov and Mursky Peninsula, would connect it to Pishani uh, Peninsula across the harbor and on the between the border of China. It only takes 28 kilometers uh, from Pishani uh, Cape. That's how close Chinese border is, and this is undeveloped uh, transportation infrastructure that uh, uh, deprives Vladivostok from actively developing its potential uh, that the city has. Uh, we also have Vladivostok uh, Belt uh, Highway. I would say that this is just like uh, the Golden Bridge. It's the dream of all uh, city dwellers. And if one of the project gets implemented uh, through one of those larger mega events, it would be just impressively perfect. We hope that uh, this would happen, but nonetheless, we're doing it work so that in a current situation, we would start developing this project so that every day, day by day, the city dwellers would uh, see how the life in the city is improving. But the foundation for such a major um, motion is to be seen as not only on the federal budget money, but also from the private investments. And it would, uh, APAC Summit has created this colossal interest to the city uh, that was generated. So we think that any uh, mayor just dreams of APAC Summit, thinking of having this kind of events to resolve many problems so that this uh, would help uh, the situation. And for us, it was a very good, uh, opportunity. It's a colossal opportunity that we were able to use, take advantage of, but nonetheless its uh, potential has not expired yet. And we will do our best to uh, make uh, true that this potential uh, becomes realized. I would like to thank you again for selecting Vladivostok as a venue for your forum, and I hope that we will maximize uh, the benefit of our discussion. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I have just only one question to you now. We're coming back to the discussion uh, post-event uh, uh, in Harity. Uh, what would you say about the agglomeration of this question, uh, which was actively uh, discussed in the morning and for sure uh, the information of such developed uh, territorial structure uh, may have uh, a print on the uh, general plan which has been developed now. And what is uh, your attitude to uh, this uh, polycentric Nahotko, uh, Suriysk, Vladivostok urban thing and how it may influence on the general plan? We have our own uh, opinion on polycentric uh, stuff. Well, but what was signed today, that is a glamoration which was signed by not only by Vladivostok, by the heads of Vladivostokovsky, Nahotovsky uh, counties. Uh, if you have seen the map, uh, you may uh, see on the map that uh, the closest areas to Vladivostok, uh, they are uh, ma maximum. Um, close to Vladivostok and are shortly mentioned uh, 
uh, now we have a law uh, for uh, many children, uh, large families with many children, and uh, law on uh, providing land for the infrastructure. But on the island, uh, there is a shortage of land and agglomeration in considering uh, the question as a whole in a bigger perspective, agglomeration of Vladivostok, uh, that is uh, a shows the positive trend. And uh, as for the uh, Primorsky Cry administration, uh, from the position of the four municipal uh, unities, that would be the positive experience, uh, which will serve uh, the more rapid development and uh, development. The floor is given to Alexandra Abramov, or is the developer of the strategy of Vladivostok uh, till uh, 2020. And Alexander uh, will share with us uh, the after uh, event existence. Well, please, no more than 10 minutes. I would like to say that I am the representative of the Leontief Center, but I'm professor of the Federal State University. Sergey Vladimirovich, uh, please, Professor Pramov, <clears throat> the life after a summit. Uh, shortly, I'll tell you uh, about the development of Primorsky Cry. Uh, for sure, uh, with no understanding of the cry life, uh, it's impossible to uh, see how the Vladivostok is developing and, and what is needed to be done. And uh, for sure, we have entered uh, in the family of the Asian Pacific cities, uh, megapolis. Uh, and uh, as for uh, the peculiarities of Primorsky Cry, I will not mention it because uh, a short time and uh, and uh, that is uh, the structure uh, of uh, there are about 15 sectors of economy and uh, uh, which are the foundation of our welfare of Primorsky Krai and uh, what happened in 90s in the Soviet period after the Soviet period when the whole economy gapped and uh, failed and uh, so, and uh, the economy uh, exists now like what we can see in the picture and now our objective now is uh, to add uh, some new sectors well but mainly uh, uh, in a balanced way well to reorient uh, the sectors of economy what has happened well in the year 2014 some sectors uh, shortened uh, but some uh, other sectors uh, in expanded and uh, uh, that is um, uh, the red line is uh, Primorsky cry, and uh, it's increasing uh, sharply after the summit. The economic uh, results uh, show the trend to for increasing, and uh, here uh, here is a uh, comparison with Russia and. Uh, the federal uh, district, 97% uh, increase. As for the industry, as for demography, uh, we uh, it is rather complicated. Well, but here in Vladivostok, we have uh, a positive trend with the demography. Uh, but Primorsky Krai is losing population, and that is the focus of uh, developing new uh, workplaces. Uh, till 2017 in new branches of economy uh, with uh, extra budget funds. That would be about more than 12,000 uh, working uh, places and uh, as for from the budget sources of more than 6,000 working places. And now specifically about new realities after summit. Um, summit was uh, on the highest level, and Vladivostok has become indeed um, a big international city, and uh, Russia entered uh, the um, World uh, Trade Bank. And the Shanghai uh, uh, agreement uh, was uh, signed, uh, and uh, they were strategic. Uh, 
uh, agreements uh, and uh, on the territory of Cry, realization of uh, about of 100 uh, biggest investment projects, and uh, till 2020, there would be budget investments uh, more than uh, three trillion of rubles, uh, but uh, that is an estimated uh, amount. Well, probably it would be better, uh, but there is a, a delay with the reconstru reconstruction of uh, Baikalamur uh, Railway reoriented, and we'll have to think about um, in cry, about it in cry, and probably uh, quotes are needed. Uh, there is uh, the development of the uh, infrastructure uh, in transporting of oil for export and as for gas and uh, regulated um, the question on uh, state debt. What do we have around us? Well, there is a tr Trans-Asian um, Railway. Um, uh, here you can see. Here you can see, here and there, uh, Primorsky Krai and uh, uh, projects uh, Primoria 1 and Primoria 2 uh, allow us well to hope well for creating bigger corridors and the uh, transportation of cargoes. Um, and it gives us the opportunities irrespectively, irrelevantly from Trans-Siberian Railroad to expand on the resources um, for investment. So. On the right, you can see uh, on the highway system. If we equip it in a similar way, we would be able to go not only um, not only would allow the cargo uh, trucks to go, but also ordinary citizens would be able to enjoy this infrastructure. Uh, and here is the next slide should have been, but it's not here. The network of uh, pipelines. Is there something wrong with the presentation, colleagues? Okay, so we it's no longer a secret. You only have five more minutes, sir. Um, I'm finishing with Primorsky Krai province. Here is the network of pipelines of different uh, sorts, gas pipelines, pi oil pipelines. And now we're doing a lot to, to conjoin uh, us to this network. And this is the global network of of uh, marine transportation, uh, sorry, internet, and this is how information uh, roams around. You see that information doesn't jump into our soil, but it nonetheless creates new opportunities. We could create new uh, data uh, trans uh, data processing centers. And now I'm speaking about the place of Vladivostok. Uh, with a radius of about 1,000 uh, kilometers, uh, you can see that uh, we get to cover 300 uh, million people living in the cities and about 420 million people uh, living in all sorts of communities, bo both rural and urban. Uh, for example, Moscow doesn't have such a coverage because uh, in the case of Moscow, only 80 million people live, New York 120. If we would do a similar uh, imaging for uh, China, they still wouldn't reach such big figures. So here's our economic concentration. This is the economic term. Economic concentration consists of uh, a GDP or a regional product per square kilometer within a year per annum. And the distance uh, within them to the left, you can see the image of the European Union. On the right, this is Japan. And Vladivostok is a little circle. It's poorly visible. Around Moscow, you can also see uh, 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 Moscow doesn't look cool as compared to European Union and Japan. And uh, on the right, we have uh, made this imaging for Primorsky Krai province. You can see northeastern uh, provinces of China. Sir, you only have two minutes. All right, all right, all right. So we're, all right. I'm, these are the 100 projects that I was uh, addressing that were recently launched. Uh, we'll skip those slides. And here's the only resource that I would like to show you, uh, which completely has been unused. This is a shelf zone that's not been used 
uh, or he's been poorly used. This is Vladivostok. Speaking of gl agglomeration, I would like to tell you uh, to discuss if it's needed. Nobody's actually asking us about it. We have uh, drawn the uh, domestic regional project, and this is how the economy was growing. You see Vladivostok is not almost, almost not visible, but it's on the very bottom. That's what's been happening in different years. This is how we have visualized uh, this uh, uh, agglomeration effect. This was the economic forces. We're not asked if this uh, force exists. It just uh, shows up as an objective factor. So compare 2002 and 2012, and a little bit about Vladivostok. The strategy of Vladivostok does exist, and it does work. Uh, it shows up as a proper strategy because agglomeration uh, effect is quite visible. Can you please tell us about key efficiency indicators? Of course, we do have them. And if you want to talk uh, more about details, agglomeration in economics term. So this is centrifugal force uh, that increases uh, the uh, concentration of economy. And the results, you know, uh, so those are Nobel Prize winners for years uh, 2000s. So this is how we compare Vladivostok to central part of uh, Moscow. And this is those opportunities for growth of uh, Vladivostok z that are put into the strategy. I wouldn't list them because in one way or another they're heavily engaged. And this is the density of uh, housing in Vladivostok. So this is a 3D uh, dem demonstration. This is where people in Vladivostok live. And this is, uh, this is where they work and this is where they live. So they go back and forth, back and forth. And this is what develops in uh, Zuruski Island. This is the structure that we were addressing earlier. This is Vasakovsky model of uh, 1998, and uh, polycentric model of 2000 level is uh, shown on the right hand, on the right side. So this is the landscape of Vladivostok once it's put on the map. And so this is how we were doing this. And this is the outcome. In year 2011, the uh, Gross Regional Project, Vladivostok would out, uh, composes about a third of total provincial figures. Does, Vladivostok doesn't look very good. Uh, it's a bluish line, and the province is reddish line. You can see the transportation and processing industries, ele energy factor, electricity, uh, education, science, uh, healthcare. And if we're talking about the gross on the right uh, hand slide, we are moving on to the scenario that is called average Russian uh, uh, levels of gross. Russia is growing at a different figures. So uh, we have uh, come with our forecast of uh, 603 billion uh, rubles. As a result, we have developed a certain system that facilitate uh, socioeconomic uh, development. In Asia Pacific, we would have new opportunities uh, for growth that could be uh, used by both the province and the city. And Vladivostok has the potential for a strong breakthrough. Thank you. Sir, I have a question in your presentation. It's called, your presentation is called, called Life After Mega Project. And what is the role of Mega Project in this entire life? Uh, as how would you evaluate the uh, aftermath of the summit in terms of how strong is the heritage? I already covered that. I could repeat it. Uh, what Russia and all of us uh, here, thank you very much for coming here. We have held uh, the summit on a very high level, and those initiatives that were implemented at the summit, they still continue. Uh, and the forum, for example, this year, would be hosted in uh, China, 
And in our initiative, uh, no, 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 Alexander, what I'm talking about is the city. Not the influence of the city, but when it comes to the city, I would like, we have renewed our infrastructure. I would say by 50% or even more, we have built, if we're talking about uh, Forest and Federal University campus, we actually built a whole uh, new district of a city, or a whole new district. It compares to the cities like Dolnareshensk and Luchigorsk. Those uh, of the audience of uh, Primorsky Krai province, you would understand what I talk about. Some 50,000 people uh, live there, and you understand that it could not be uh, not reflected on the fact it reflects on the uh, status uh, of the city. It really did become an international city. When you get to visit our opera, you do really realize that it's a large city. I should say that we have received a major impulse for development, both the province and the city and the whole of the Russian forest. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to uh, invite Anatoly Melnik for our discussion, who was the head architect of Vladivostok and who is now the advisor to the mayor on the issues of architecture and urban development. Sir, could you please tell us the structure that is created uh, in due to preparation of the summit of 2012 and those plans of the development of uh, Ruski Island? to create the uh, territory of advanced development and activization of its further economic development. Do you think they are competitive in terms of the development of the development of the city itself as, uh, uh, as a place where, which is a venue for our uh, summit, uh, for our forum? Uh, should we concentrate the resources or should we dis disperse them around uh, the city in terms of infra um, uh, architecture? Well, I wouldn't say about competition because the territory of Vladivostok is a territory that we couldn't think earlier that this uh, territory would uh, become engaged into civil use because Ruski Island has been a military compound. We never saw that the universe, university could be built uh, there. And the fact, you know, what kind of aftermath it would bring to us. Every time I go to Zaruski Island, I'm always surprised what's going on there. People live there. So this is territory has always been outside of the use of civic use of uh, in Vladivostok. Uh, Earlier, with previous uh, uh, urban development, we were thinking of moving the city to the north, upwards. And now, as soon as we do have this opportunity and the reality, uh, in accordance uh, to the existing uh, uh, master plan of the city, uh, very much is, uh, there we see a lot of development of the Minesweepers uh, Peninsula of the Ruski Island. And we see that this is uh, the trans that would identify the territories that we could use. A and it would uh, separate apart those territories for irrigational use and could be uh, actively, could not be actively developed. Which is why I think that Zaruski Island gives us great promises, especially the Minesweepers Peninsula of Zaruski Island. Uh, huge, it could be a huge international exhibition center, which could be a major international factor of development. It could become a center of international communication. And I believe that the redistribution of the functions of the city, uh, it's not only keeping it as a fortress, but also making it international communication center. That is very important and interesting. Thank you very much, Anatoly. Uh, the other speaker has this uh, uh, phase of disagreement, saying, saying, I don't agree with everything. You guys have been to the Ruski Island yesterday. I will give you the uh, floor uh, at the very end, sir.
All right, you'll have a report, right, right. Xenia, you wanted to comment something. Colleagues, I have been studying an international experience in this field, and all the contradiction uh, uh, the, uh, and controversies that is, is associated with APEC Summit, Olympics, and such, is international experience shows that the more uh, successful such are experiments when the city uh, uh, the city looks at regeneration of existing uh, communal zones. It's very indicative uh, to have an experience of London that has invested a lot of money into existing infrastructure, the eastern, infrastructure, eastern part of the cities of Vancouver experience in Canada. When we're regenerating the old uh, uh, industrial area alongside the the river that flows through the city, through the bay area, and on the minimum level, there was uh, they invested little money into the new uh, developments, and it's not very clear how they would use those territories. That is why I would want to uh, attract your attention to this factor. And it's very um, indicative uh, that this classification of uh, city development through regeneration is a matter of, uh, through the mega, mega events, is very helpful. It gives beautiful opportunities for investments into this kind of uh, projects. Thank you very much, Zinia. You have touched upon an international experience. Uh, on Skype, we have this Michael Geller from, uh, from Vancouver. Vancouver is a great example. Uh, Michael, здравствуйте. Вы нас слышите? Да, слышу вас. Michael, мы хотели бы uh, вас uh, поприветствовать на нашей конференции, как... А он ничего не слышит, что ли? Или, Или звук Good доходит? Afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon, can you hear me? Good afternoon, Michael. It's a pleasure to see you again, Alexei. Yeah, yeah, it is a big pleasure. Could you, uh, could you say us a story about uh, Vancouver and post-Olympic development, please? <laughs> Okay, it'd be my pleasure. Well, as we know, if we look at the first slide, um, it's for many, many... Так, что, наш телемост с Ванкувером? Нет, все, все нормально. А мы слышим Майкла или нет? Или каким образом мы можем... Понятие, о чем он говорит. We, many of you who have been to Shanghai would have seen how the World Fair there transformed that city. Next slide. One city that has been transformed by both a World's Fair and the Olympics is Barcelona. Next slide. And as was mentioned, London certainly took advantage of the investment in the Olympics to transform a large part of its city. And although many of us worried whether it would work out, I think most agree it worked very well. Next slide. Vancouver has had two major events in the past three decades, a World's Fair and the Olympics. And I would like to briefly mention to the mayor and the distinguished panel some of the things that we have benefited from. Next, please. The main fit of our World's Fair in 1986 is that it introduced Vancouver 
to many people who never really knew much about it. Next, please. The fair was held on industrial lands in the center of the city. Initially, it started as a very small event to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the city. But it grew. Next slide and eventually attracted 54 nations, including the USSR, which created a pavilion which attracted a great deal of attention. The theme of the fair was transportation and communication. Today, the Russian pavilion is still in use in, in metropolitan Vancouver. Next slide. One of the key things that resulted were a number of projects that remain today as major parts of our city infrastructure. This was a hotel, a convention center, and cruise ship terminal, which all were built for the World Fair. Next, please. And today, the conference center and cruise ship facility are in use and have subsequently been expanded. Next, please. Another pavilion for the fair has become a science center. And as you will see, it was put to a very special use during the Olympics. Next, please. As I said, we said the purpose of this World Fair was to try and put Vancouver on the world map. And I like to think that we succeeded. Now, although the gondola that you see in this picture has disappeared and gone to England, we did get many transportation improvements, which are with us today. Next, please. McDonald's restaurant created a special barge for the World Fair. Unfortunately, next slide. Next, please. It did not stay in operation. It was not one of our legacies. Next, please. But one thing that did happen is that the site of the World Fair was purchased by Li Ka-shing, who in the subsequent years has transformed it into a whole new community. Next, please. Not only has it become a model sustainable community in Vancouver, if any of you have been to Dubai, you will know that they have built almost a replica of a portion of the expo site. Next, please. And this is to show you how our city has transformed in 20 years as a result of the interest and investment that came following this fair. It's quite a transformation in just 20 years. Next, please. Next slide. So very briefly, I will tell you about the Olympics. The interesting thing is the Olympics, I don't think, had the same impact on Vancouver as the World Fair did. But one of the things we did think about was how to make sure that each building could be reused in the future. And so, example, the speed skating oval became a major community center. Next, please. The media center became part of our expanded convention center. And a convention center is a wonderful way to bring people to the city. Next, please. Again, what was a curling rink with very little reuse has become a community center for a whole new neighborhood. Next, please. The Russian pavilion occupied the prime science world pavilion from the World Fair 
and of course told everyone about Sochi. And uh, I don't need to tell you about Sochi, although I can say I was there and it was very, very impressive what you built there. Next, please. Not everything worked in Vancouver. The village that we built for the athletes cost a lot more money than it should have, and the city lost many hundreds of millions of dollars. Next, please. However, as time goes by, the community has become much more vibrant. It is a model, sustainable community. Next, please. And some of the financial problems are disappearing as it becomes a very exciting part of the city in which to live. Next, please. So to conclude, as I think you have learned, a mega project, whether it's a World Fair, an APEC conference, the Olympics, can give a great psychological boost to a city. Next slide, please. After the world event, many of the facilities remain and can be given new uses. Next, please. I think one of the benefits of having these events is that it, like when you have a party in your house, it prompts you to make things more beautiful and more attractive, and it creates a sense of pride that stays long after the event is over. Next, please. <laughs> I hope I have given you something to think about, and yes, that is the hat I purchased at the Olympic Pavilion in Vancouver four years ago. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. Are you hearing me? Yes, very well. Yeah, Michael, um, uh, you, um, uh, you said about good planning. You said that uh, the good planning uh, is one of the key factors of uh, the success uh, in the frame of development of the city, in the frame to evaluate uh, the role of big events. Uh, what is for you the good planning? What is the essence of this term? Well, I think the first thing is that you need to create an overall framework which provides guidance to everyone who wants to build. But you also have to appreciate that circumstances change and over time it is necessary to change the plan. I hope that is helpful. O okay, Michael, thank you very much. It was very My interesting. Pleasure. Thank you. Have a good day in Vancouver. <laughs> 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 Come to us uh, to Vladivostok next time. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you, and if any of you come to Vancouver, please let me know. <laughs> Thank you. No, my dear. It seems to me that it was a rather interesting presentation. Uh, the main idea of what was that the uh, every object uh, which is constructed well for a special event. Uh, for any uh, project, one-time project, uh, and to serve the city, and uh, it's needed to use it more for urban purposes. In this context, uh, I would like to ask uh, Sergei Ivanets, the director of the Far East State University, uh, the main resident of the island, Trusky. Uh, Sergei, please tell uh, what is the role of the university uh, in the context uh, of development uh, 
of Vladivostok and what the university has to do well to become the uh, major player on the map of the city, the driver, the fo driving force of Vladivostok development. Uh, we have a sense of that exteriorly. Uh, we, when we were in your campus, uh, that they were only the first steps uh, in the development of the active uh, lifestyle uh, in all the objects which uh, had been constructed well and there is a fence well which still separates the campers uh, and that that's an isolated island and uh, um, the safety scenes uh, and um, how do you feel uh, that the university is something like an isolated enclave uh, and uh, of happiness and uh, doesn't want to interact with the environment or it's deceiving. Thank you, Alexei, for the given opportunity and uh, uh, distinguished colleagues. Uh, like Sharikov in the dog's heart, I disagree, uh, may say, I disagree to be blamed. Uh, if you uh, allow, I would like to express my opinion, um, and you will uh, understand that that's the opinion of the representative of the university, that's not a common sense, and um, our uh, formulating thesis uh, is not uh, connected with us, and uh, it's not right. In my understanding, uh, the mega project is still uh, going on. Uh, it started in 2012, and the preparation started uh, several years earlier. Uh, in 2012, that project was officially launched, and uh, it requires uh, uh, rather much time well, uh, to develop uh, the modern university, uh, it will take probably 10, 12 years, and then uh, you may uh, judge its success. And uh, under the mega project, I understand the federal state university, but uh, not uh, the Asian Pacific Cooperation uh, of 2012. And I have uh, the reasons uh, to suppose that I'm the head of, and initiate uh, the project, uh, and that is the understanding of the project which had been given that the, the program uh, document was the development of infrastructure. It was not, not the building for the summit, it was developed at uh, the Far East State University. And uh, the, the uh, reason for that was obvious, and uh, according to the scale uh, objectives, uh, this project is. Uh, um, uh, has overcome uh, the biggest events uh, like uh, the summit of uh, regional economics uh, economies. And in this case, uh, Michael, the architect, says about the necessity of uh, reusing the uh, buildings uh, or re-infrastructure. We do not have the objective to reuse it again. Uh, now we'll have to correlate, um, well, he meant uh, housing uh, areas. Okay, now let's come to the uh, urban life. And it seems to me that present time, we uh, considering uh, that there is the island geographically isolated, a remote area from the city center. Uh, probably it's not... Um, a huge inclusion. Well, uh, now it's easier to get to the island so with the bridge. Well, but uh, to work, uh, it may take time. Well, uh, so simultaneously, uh, that is the part of Vladivostok and the center of attraction. And we may say that today it was sounded uh, the estimates. Uh, of the population of Primorsky Krai, well, um, it's balanced. Uh, well, um, small negative trend uh, still exists. Uh, nevertheless, the university um, has the objective like that, uh, and uh, like the structure. No. Uh, it, the university copes with the enrollment. Uh, 
uh, we uh, have um, uh, student. Uh, we have students from 55 regions uh, of Russia, uh, from uh, Leningrad and uh, the other areas, and uh, it was put in the foundation of the uh, Far East State University. That's why how it re uh, gets into life uh, and uh, it works well and it should have a sustainable character and it requires time and this university has to prove its uh, efficiency not like the regional um, let it be uh, a big university, well, but like the international educational center, but it takes time and we're uh, approaching to it, but we'll have to overcome this trend. And as for the openness, Igor Sergeyevich has mentioned uh, that the uh, university is open, these territories are open, and uh, it seems to me that the citizens uh, enjoy it. But how is it uh, open if there, if there is a fence? and security, but there is an open uh, entrance for everybody. We were stopped, uh, so you could understand uh, uh, if there is a uh, if the uh, uh, cars are not allowed, well, the pedestrians are allowed. Uh, the territory of campus is one thing, uh, but the university area is a different uh, area. Probably we'll continue our discussion. Um, that You know that the campus uh, opens its uh, first uh, floor and is trying to integrate in the city life, and uh, that would be uh, with the uh, Vladivostok social life. And uh, many first floors are open uh, for uh, offers, and uh, the building uh, facing the uh, sea coast well there is a restaurant and cafes and you may go there and here is the last question you are uh, speaking about your international university and the criteria of success is the rating um, Shanghai QS uh, and uh, what kind of criteria, uh, rating criteria do you have well so we could observe well if you are successful? There are many ratings and uh, four are recognized and uh, for sure we take them into consideration and uh, it's uh, very popular and we cannot ignore those uh, and uh, it's uh, uh, rating, uh, we'll have to work on it and it is referent uh, the rating which uh, uh, the company QS comp uh, comprises and and uh, we are in the list of uh, uh, more than 10 uh, universities uh, and uh, that is a big achievement but uh, there is uh, there are more requirements and uh, what results are expected by 2020 and we have the indicator well to enter the first three universities and we would consider it to be the uh, best one I'd like to give the floor to Igor Timirov, uh, the head of the company, Timirov and Company. He has been successful in uh, different uh, proficient in different industries. And uh, uh, Igor, could you share uh, from uh, your excursion around the university campus and what are uh, uh, the impressions of the uh, campers on the island and how it is uh, appropriate. Well, uh, thank you, Alexei. Answering the questions of uh, the plenary sessions uh, uh, live uh, uh, after the mega project, I consider that one of the major results is the forum which is uh, taking place now and i would like to say uh, to all guests well i will open a secret a uh, small secret that we are having a fruitful and uh, work and that the mayor of Vladivostok, please uh, answer my question uh, first the potential, we can see uh, that uh, the big events uh, like the forum 
and the infrastructure uh, which appeared in the city. Uh, it can give an absolutely new life well to the formats. We had been talking about the engineering centers, the centers for the development of new economy. And la during our last coming, we introduced such a project, the development on the island Ruski. And today, listening to Abramov's, uh, Mr. Abramov's speech, uh, we are talking about big factors of the territory's de development. And today, we would like to speak more about the concrete person, a uh, uh, student who is studying at the university, and I'm afraid. Uh, that's an amazing project uh, and campus that I was studying in uh, some international uh, institutions. I have a um, one big inquiry. Well, on behalf of the students, well, uh, please have a look at the uh, bus uh, at the stop uh, by the university. Uh, there is because of the climate and uh, it is no protection uh, in, in the bus stop. And uh, when the bus comes to the university, uh, it for the architects it could be an interesting project. Uh, uh, of the contemporary uh, bus stop well, uh, at the university. But uh, in conclusion, I would say that the university for sure is a project that we cannot uh, put the seeds of potatoes and to dig it out uh, every day. Well, and the, the university has the infrastructure uh, developed. Uh, there is no critical uh, amount. Uh, I mean, uh, as for lecturers and the students who would bring life to it. And uh, during the round table on the territories uh, of accelerated development, you told your story uh, about uh, your talk with the Apple company, which is in the suburb of San Francisco. And you told that the vice president was complaining that young people did not uh, come. The uh, young people prefer to work in the downtown center. Um, uh, are there any uncertain risks uh, or the uh, picture of the tragedy uh, of the uh, university line that it is oriented mostly for students enrollment from the na uh, students, uh, international students and from the other regions of Russia? I think that the analogy with the Silicon Valley is the same well, and I was impressed uh, and um, with the Apple president, he said that the young people don't come because they uh, refuse well to go by bus. Uh, silver bars, uh, which uh, move from the downtown San Francisco to the uh, valley. Uh, the analogy is not uh, appropriate well because the Fire State University is in the city area, and at the same time, well, the, uh, the uh, creation of this nice bridge when there would be the uh, uh, Belt Road, uh, there will be easier, well, to move. And uh, as for the trend, well, you were absolutely right. Well, uh, we could see the trend uh, in the uh, big cities, uh, world cities, that they are becoming um, the centers of migration development are not because it's in the center of New York. New York be has become the second technological hub in the world. And uh, there are changes in the trends of the research work. Young people don't want to go somewhere uh, of botani to botanical cities which are in the suburban area, and uh, they wish to have an urban, vibrant environment with cafes uh, where uh, there is a continuation uh, of uh, Wi-Fi area and the technology for projecting is used. and. Um, and uh, the state uh, federal university has every opportunity uh, to become the place like that. And uh, a month ago, I was several times in the Singapore, several uh, uh, Singapore State University, and uh, that's absolutely open. And what impresses for sure, and on the first floor there is a great variety of cafeterias, and uh, the students study there, and there is learning of higher standards and uh, social movement. 
And I can say that in social dynamics, uh, we were in July, uh, in August, sorry, and uh, it was said that in August it was the preparation period for studies and the university was open, uh, but present day, well, there are cafes uh, where the students are and they are studying there and there is so much space, well, that there every uh, time there would be more students. Igor, I would like to give uh, the floor to Igor uh, Vasilyevich Krupnov, um, the uh, supervisor of the Institute of Demography and Regional Development. Uh, Igor Vasilyevich uh, was uh, taking an active part in all the discussions. And uh, shortly, could you share your impressions of Vladivostok uh, after summit? It seems that we underestimate the uh, summit for Vladivostok not only on, on infra infrastructure or, or if it is a prestigious uh, city, but a summit has got Vladivostok into geopolitics and uh, uh, now it will uh, not happen like that, uh, that you are left after uh, the event well. And for the whole country, there is the necessity uh, to sustain Vladivostok. And it seems uh, that we should not uh, separate Vladivostok from the whole country. And that is our post, a far post. And, uh, uh, there's the necessity uh, this city cooperate, uh, cooperates, communicates with uh, uh, Chinese, China, and uh, the whole country will have to continue uh, to generate the mega projects uh, so this uh, geopolitical function could exist. That is my first uh, opinion. That is why I would like Vladivostok, uh, as far as you remember, of La uh, Saint Leningrad is the second capital. Vladivostok residents with the, uh, its history and unique uh, uh, place and uh, state uh, importance importance can be uh, and must be uh, a capital of Russia, geopolitical capital. It is very difficult to discuss the island uh, Ruski because I was against uh, the summit on the island and I supported the work in Khabarovsk and uh, supported the group um, who considered uh, to uh, have this uh, summit in Khabarovsk. And in this sense, we can see that there are many difficulties uh, connected with the, the fact that uh, the island Ruski is uh, complicated geographically well, but we are having what we are having, and so we'll have to continue it. But taking into consideration that, again, I repeat, uh, there are many artificial things which are connected with the island, and uh, it will be difficult to overcome. Well, but nevertheless, uh, new functions of Vladivostok is interesting. There is a, a city on the island, and uh, so uh, Pishani, a low, a low water bridge, uh, and uh, the student city. And then there will be um, the city, and we speak about large families. Uh, to be given the land and um and it should be uh, done centralized well and uh, some small uh towns of demographic future uh, have to be there. And there should be the urban decision inside of Vladivostok and the glamoration. I would not uh underestimate I would not overestimate the importance of agglomeration, but the Vladivostok has to be in this agglomeration. And it's very important well, uh, for Vladivostok that Vladivostok has uh, the urban and geopolitical functions uh, bonded. And Vladivostok with uh, uh, these bright illustrations, uh, and uh, it will be uh, the separate forum uh, in urbanism. And uh, this topic is very interesting perspective. 
That is very interesting, and uh, that is for the talk. After the forum, uh, that would be uh, nice if you give the clear definition um, of the civilized city, uh, and that is a nice metaphor, And but I would like to feel it, uh, the content of it, and uh, as for the content and strategy of Vladivostok of getting it into a big tourist hu uh, hub center, and uh, we had a poll, and we'd like to show you the results of the poll. Do we have the results of the poll? No. So I'll sound it. Uh, here they are. And so the residents of Vladivostok believe that it would become the tourist country, uh, the tourist city. And that would be interesting to see how the inflow of tourists will increase uh, the tourists who would stay on not on the cruises well but in the hotels the uh, minimum uh, for the night uh, and we know that the tourist inflow is a very good indicator of the city life and uh, uh, the modern tourist is attracted by the uh, quality in the urban environment than separated uh, sightseeing like um, People like uh, uh, the city in its uh, complexity uh, and uh, not only the monuments. And, and now I'll give the floor to Grigori Revzin, the professor of high school of urbanism, uh, the partner of the cons uh, construction bureau. Strelka. Well, uh, so some uh, thoughts about uh, urbanization, uh, modernization. Uh, please uh, give us the presentation. OK, next, please. First of all, I would like to say that our forum is uh, a part of the Moscow Urban Forum. Uh, that is the third time. Uh, and uh, one of them was uh, devoted to uh, the global cities. And the next one was uh, about post-industrial city in 2012. That was the problem of transformation of the city uh, in the post uh, next uh, center and periphery and um, a transformation of the peripheral uh, uh, zone of the city and actually uh, the present forum the uh, drivers of the modern uh, development uh, uh, so it collects all the problems uh, and uh, of the previous forums and um, next slide please and uh, the uh, with the last forum we can see uh, that the periphery we have made a research of the periphery. Uh, we've learned that 60% of people uh, live, uh, if we just speak about Moscow, live in the uh, Soviet uh, lifestyle, in the residential areas. They do not live it. They do not use the modern infrastructure. And that is why uh, that is a so-called Soviet uh, lifestyle. Well, but 40% live a different li have different lifestyle. And that's the Western lifestyle. And what I'll be talking about uh, concerns 40% uh, of the population and traditionally 60%. Uh, but uh, what has changed uh, for those uh, 40 percent? Uh, housing has changed. Uh, it's absolutely different. Uh, the uh, form of uh, the uh, working has changed. Uh, that is the Moscow plant, and uh, that is the modern office uh, space and. Uh, it is uh, s something like similar, well, but that's different. And uh, transport systems have changed, uh, and Tverskaya in the 70s, and uh, Tverskaya present time, well, uh, some changes have uh, happened. Uh, and uh, uh, public uh, meals uh, has uh, changed, uh, and now we have uh, the structure like that. Uh, trading has changed. That is a terrific picture. Uh, that is in the skyscraper. 
uh, on Kudrinska and there is a, a shopping mall and a trade center and there is a composition. Uh, it's impossible to find such a composition and uh, for sure there are changes. Probably it's strange, well, but radically uh, sports uh, has changed a lot. Uh, so previously it was changed well for the new um, one, but if to have a look at another part, that is a very interesting example of the building of uh, the government uh, of power and I had a workshop for the international students and after two months of walking around Moscow I offered them well to arrange a mental map well what you remember about Moscow uh, and there were uh, some buildings so they could reconsider in their memory they uh, had two months in Moscow and uh, so now we can see the governmental buildings which they could not remember at all. They could not remember any one building uh, of the governmental authorities. So that is a hypertrophic uh, government um, governance. Um, here is a building uh, modernization of uh, buildings and uh, the main thing, the main characteristic is a defense uh, which separates uh, distinctly the building of the administration, uh, White House, the uh, president administration. That is, can be multiplied uh, in uh, police um, and uh, where the population can face the government uh, militarism in the enrollment zones and then social infrastructure we can see in schools of the same structure the same that would be in healthcare uh, centers um, and uh, we can speak about uh, police as well if to speak uh, to if to classify uh, what has been modernized and not on the left uh, there are some changed areas well sport uh, meals trade transport work uh, housing and um, on the left of what has not changed and uh, stayed the same about 20 years ago in the global city well uh, cultural centers uh, universities uh, except uh, the Far State University well but the other universities look the same well uh, urbanism uh, has not changed uh, the norms uh, uh, the public places will stay uh, the same uh, state uh, university uh, state entity school and public transport and um, uh, you know this pyramid of uh, pyramid of needs uh, and the mass of Maslow and why I introduce it. Uh, you'll have to understand what is on the left, uh, what it was modernized, uh, where the market started its work, and uh, um, where the market is, uh, it works. Uh, but on the right, uh, what the government uh, deals with, and so it is not modernized. And why is it happening like that? Because the market has a straight connection. Uh, people uh, vote with money for that or this solution, but in the government and the state, well, to change this structure for another, it's very difficult because there are uh, there is a nation regulation per norms but they act like they can act uh, and uh, in connection with that it's a question where in what market there can be changes well but they may happen uh, maybe on the political market the political parties may get some um, uh, the political programs and may change uh, the uh, space and change the governmental uh, entities uh, but the political parties are not deeply interested in the, well but Edina uh, Russia is interested in um, well, mostly it preserves what had been before. Uh, next slide. Uh, and briefly, uh, please come back. In generally, a uh, mega uh, event is one of the forms of the shift of the format on the left. And 
to change everything. Uh, universities, um, uh, public areas, well, it can be uh, done only in the parameters of mega uh, events. And I would like uh, to point out uh, the mega events uh, in uh, Russia. And for sure, that is an international event. And uh, it is given from our side. And that's why we, cannot da we do not damage it. We would like to spoil it, but we have the international responsibilities. And of course, we can can uh, have the mega project and uh, name it, um, for example, Vladivostok is the eastern St. Petersburg uh, or the eastern capital of Russia. Yes, uh, for sure it should be done. It's, uh, for sure it has to be included in the geopolitical uh, strategy well, but we need the format uh, this or that uh, to make the networks well, but then it will be, oh, and the departments may say, oh, that's too expensive, let's do it in the road differently, uh, we'll construct the airport differently, and, but we have the international event where you may not leave it. You have a strict framework and uh, but when you do not have the event, you are not dependent uh, on the disperse, and that is why the international event play a role of uh, exterior uh, from the exterior forward to follow the civ uh, civilized way. And uh, if we uh, jump out of it, well, so uh, we we have less successful projects. And uh, in the uh, pyramid of Maslow, it's very important. And there is the need physiological uh, security, social. Uh, we'll have to say the higher the top, the higher the level is, the last is self-realization. Well, the uncertainty level is higher uh, for your security and safety. It's needed. Um, to have many solutions, well, but for self-realization, well, there can be different solutions. And uh, what kind of framework it may be, it's clear. And uh, when we speak about how, what is changing and how to modernize it, uh, cultures, schools, uh, and uh, the main point is that the uh, change of the past industrial, uh, in the industrial society, kind of assembly line is important in the post industrial, well, that is the stock exchange. And uh, that is why the forms are different. And uh, the forms of realization as uh, uh, the public area of the city. But when we have a look at the public areas, uh, so we'll miss it. Uh, next, please. Uh, when we have a look at the public areas, we may say that uh, they are changing uh, in the paradigm of the city. And here, uh, here are the shops uh, in the 70s. And uh, accordingly, inside and outside. Next slide. And uh, uh, as for the culture centers, uh, city uh, cultural centers, well, they're uh, similar outside, inside, outside, and uh, the type of consuming it, it uh, uh, is the same. And when we have a look at the present type of the uh, shopping mall, uh, it's uh, just the St. Petersburg uh, shopping mall. Uh, that is the city square. Uh, the city is a multifunctional uh, center and many functions uh, meet and uh, there's a mixed use uh, and uh, there's the city should be like that. Uh, but according to the type uh, of the city, the university changes, uh, starts changing, and the public places, and uh, every uh, one try to become um, want to be uh, to become the one that's and uh, inside uh, the shopping mall, uh, the station. And it's clear that's a uh, building of the Museum of Modern Arts in Rome. And uh, uh, what, uh, how the building can change for touring? Next, please. And what is happening to school in uh, Singapore and uh, atrium, atrium uh, inside uh, and. Um, Coming out of this, well, uh, the mega event, well, 
is given well, but um, uh, it comes from the exterior resources well, but how to apply it? Well, that is a different question. Well, and there was a question about my uh, attitude to the university on the island, Ruski. Of course, we can uh, speak uh, about the Olympic uh, Olympiad and when we constructed special cluster in Sochi. And here in Vladivostok, uh, we can take this format and uh, construct it in a new place. Uh, but but when you speak uh, that you disagree uh, that uh, the university is in the uh, city, that the part of uh, on urbanism, that is a part of the city well, but when the university uh, transforms the city in uh, the part is not is not exactly the thing the university transforms the university in uh, tr university transforms the city is in the city the university in the campus that is a typical american uh, infrastructure uh, like uh, in boston we can see here and uh, it can be uh, in the city uh, stanford uh, has a separate campus well but uh, it's uh, uh, well-known uh, type of campus, and that's the continuation of the idea from 60s. Uh, and uh, when for every function, you have a separate area, and that is the campus American logic uh, is uh, reproduced here in Vladivostok. Uh, but you know, uh, so this university could leave. It seems to me that the means uh, which were invested in the bridge and these nice buildings were sent to the old city. Well, it would completely change its uh, image. Well, but the condition of Vladivostok uh, is well. That's a pity. Well, that uh, this funding was not provided for the old city. And but no, now our peculiarities. We we had to uh, damage well Vladivostok and to build a new uh, city. Well, but uh, so it could be uh, done. So to develop it today, uh, and uh, we'll have to uh, uh, absorb uh, the city, and so it could be uh, stay there and uh, to have cafes, or it may stay uh, empty, and uh, it is in uh, contradiction with the interest of uh, the university itself. Uh, if the uh, city comes to the university, the university will stand against it well, and uh, it will protect every building and uh, entrance. So we, and uh, the version which we could see in Singapore, and you mentioned, and uh, w you mentioned where you may, you may go, and in Moscow it doesn't work uh, at all. And that is uh, um, the logical thing. Uh, we do not speak about new economy, uh, new development. Well. Of the university, but we're developing in the industrial uh, logical way new functions, new territories. It uh, characterizes not only uh, Vladivostok, but the plan of New Moscow, which has been done today, and uh, it's based. Uh, we are taking the centers. Uh, from the downtown of Moscow and uh, make uh, financial, educational, medical centers. The main idea of urbanism now is uh, uh, the city which combines uh, educational, medical centers, financial centers, and that is the quality uh, city. And let's go uh, to the logics of uh, Mona city, and it doesn't matter what, kind of, what city it is, Vladivostok or Moscow. And uh, the, in the format of this Maggard, uh, mega project is not uh, included in the uh, the city. Thank you so much. That. In conclusion, I would like to say that Grigori uh, has raised the topic of polycentrics, uh, which uh, will be discussed during your uh, urban forum, which will be in November. And uh, uh, generally, urbanism is con um, treated uh, skeptically. And if we remember the strategy of Tokyo, uh, 
the strategy of uh, Tokyo development was shown uh, by our colleague from Tokyo, but it was, if we see the last strategic plan of Tokyo, which was done with this zero demographic growth. So that is the first strategic uh, plan which uh, um, is inclined to regulate the demographic growth well and uh, is oriented uh, to go from the polycentric uh, development to uh, the concentration and intensification of uh, the present uh, territories and uh, uh, if in under conditions of short resources uh, in uh, international urbanistics, uh, it is uh, recognized to be the most uh, effective. And uh, when you discuss your uh, general plan uh, during uh, this forum, uh, when you speak about the, the city development, uh, please take into consideration that it's uh, possible with the sustainable development not to uh, throw out uh, housing, uh, but uh, to see uh, uh, things under your feet and um, fr from the distance and uh, to see if it is appropriate what you can see and uh, uh, if you uh, think it to be the tourist uh, capital, uh, the eastern capital of Russia, and uh, how to uh, have wishes and needs. Uh, uh, thank you so much for your for this meeting. Sorry, I cannot give a floor to anyone because we exceeded the lim time limit, and uh, we may have a talk. Uh, thank you for your coming.